Although Chapter 6, The Paper Mario 64 isn't my favorite chapter, I can still appreciate it for the diverse enemies, featured like Crazy Daisies and Rough and Puffs, who are all related to the main theme of the chapter, nature. Even though it's not necessarily difficult, the amount of backtracking can get a little tedious because you need to go back and forth to retrieve that very specific item you need because the flower NPCs are all jerks in this chapter. Seriously, their home is literally in danger because Hufflepuff has conquered flower fields with his cloud generating contraption. Yet these guys are literally gatekeeping Mario unless he wastes even more time getting a bunch of stuff that will satiate their selfish flowery hearts. But perhaps the most selfish flower NPC of all is Rosie, the self-absorbed snob who boasts about her beauty and that she claims she's the most beautiful flower in all the land. She is holding a water stone that she found on the ground and Mario is begging for it because a fellow flower's fields resident literally cannot live without it and desperately needs water and the stone is the only solution to make it happen. You would think she would accept and give Mario the stone for free, right? Wrong. She has the audacity to tell Mario unless he found something prettier. I am not like coughing up this stone unless you bring me something prettier. I will literally like, let this land die, unless you do what I say. Mario would then waste even more time than before by going over to the crystal tree and requesting a crystal berry in which Mario has to trek over to Rosie once again in which she trays the stone. Oh my god, you like totally found this glimmering berry that complements my gorgeous looks. Here, you can have this ugly stone. I didn't want it anyway. Yep, she admits it. She finds the stone ugly even though she was prepared to sacrifice the home for it. Of all the eight characters that are technically evil, I would say she is the worst of them all. At least they have a reason for being baddies. Rosie is just acting like this to be a total... Like seriously, even the mayor's wife who accused Mario of being a murderer is a saint in comparison to Rosie. Whew, I had to get that out of my chest. Sorry I invented via video. This chapter doesn't sit well with me, and Rosie really isn't helping. Thank you for watching, comment down below if you agree with me that Rosie is the worst character in People Mario 64 and should be pruned. And like and subscribe for more videos like this.